All right, I got a little update on the bearing deal here. I was talking to Scooter on the phone this morning, and uh, he said that there was actually an article that uh, Gary Berg wrote, and it was in Hot VWs about six months ago about these bearings coming out, <clears throat> and uh, that this is the, the first that he's seen them too. He ordered a set of bearings a couple weeks ago, and he ran into this, and uh, he didn't think it was a good place to, you know, shortcut either, and. Uh, He's pretty good friends with Gary, and I guess they've talked a little bit, or Clyde, and uh, or both of them. And from their experience, from the motors that they build, they don't recommend them at all for a high-performance application. But uh, they say that they're okay for a stalker, but they say they uh, decrease the amount of miles the motor will go. So I won't be using these. We're going to return those, and uh, he turned me on to these, the seal power and uh seal power they're available in uh seal power and these are uh, steel backed and they actually have a race bearing uh they're a little more money but uh i think this one i'm probably going to go with uh he did mention the uh silver uh silver something bearings that you could get uh but i guess i'll just go with the seal power sort of like those and i'll uh, give those a try i've never tried them before but uh, these, man, are just so lightweight, it's, uh, you know, you'd have to almost be scared to put them in a motor when you pick them up. I did find some uh, steel back 025s today, but uh, for now on we'll be using the seal power or we'll get those uh, silver back ones. So uh, that's what I found out on the bearing deal. So I don't even know... Uh, I guess we'll just take these back and they'll think I'm crazy, of course, because uh, that's how they are. They'll be like, oh, we haven't had any trouble. And uh, I don't know. From the response, I mean, I don't get a big response. I don't have a big form or anything on Volkswagens. And a few guys have said that they've had issues. So uh, that's probably not a good idea if you have a Volkswagen to run those, you know? I don't know. So, uh, yeah. And then. Uh, we talked a little bit about these lifters last night, and uh, that stone sort of puts the directional uh, cut in these, you know, and I guess that's probably so they rotate, you know, more than likely. But uh, the only time I'd use a stock lifter, you know, reground would be in a stock motor, and the problem that we're having is sort of the same problem that we're looking at with these bearings. Uh, you know, we were buying the new lifters, and uh, I think I actually have one over here oh, in my toolbox, maybe. Do the uh, shaky cam walk through the shop thing. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, this is a brand new, brand new one here. And uh, they're just real cheap. They cheapen the process up on these, and the base is thinner. <clears throat> and, uh, we were talking one day and we, you know, uh, they've always offered the reground lifters and uh, you can see how thick the base is on this one compared to uh, that one. And uh, we were talking and we just decided that hey, it might be better to uh, get the old German lifters refaced and people have been doing it for a long time and having good luck. You can also see the cup difference. This is the German one, it's got a much deeper cup for the push rod. <clears throat> and this one over here has got a very shallow cup. And on the high performance deals, they just bounce right out of that cup and then take the lifter out. And so uh, now that Ingle's making the lifters again and you know they're matching them to the cam sets, uh, that's probably the way it will go. But on the stocker, this is a great idea here. And uh, they seem to get better service than what you can buy which would be this piece uh, and uh, I've run these couple in a couple stock motors and pulled them apart and they look really good so uh, so I don't know but never in a high performance application you know we always use a new lifter <clears throat> for that kind of stuff but uh, so that's where we're at we we'll have to get some bearings for this now I gotta <clears throat> scrounge up the rest of the bearings and then uh, We'll go ahead and uh, assemble the crank, which the cats are playing on down here in this box. Have to clean that back up, wash it, and put it in the stand, and uh, put it together. So.
So Scooter said he wants to take this uh, cat here, the one we call the Striper, the one that Turbo Cobra likes. So uh, that might end up down at Scooter Shop, down at RNS. He's looking for a, a new cat. And uh, he's got a cat named Tyrod. And he used to have Tyrod and Axel, and uh, Axel disappeared. And uh, Tyrod got beat up real bad by some stray cat, so. I told him he needs to get a younger cat, you know, to make buddies with it, and uh, he can have a buddy. There's always uh, power in numbers, you know. So uh, these little guys are ready to go for sure. They're uh, crazy and playful. Striper's the, the 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 leader of the pack. It'll be interesting to see what happens when he leaves. He will, uh, I think, smoke here will take over as the leader. And uh, there's a little black one down there, under the crank. That, uh, yeah, they like to play. There's some more up in the box there, so, uh, yeah. And then, uh, I don't know if uh, Musty, Musty One, you still watch these videos, uh, what's going on? And uh, if you are, I got a question for you. I got this stuff to ship to you. And uh, I've got the motor, it's, it's quite a bit of stuff. I was wondering if maybe I could run it over to your dad's house there, because I know your dad lives close to me and maybe he could uh, bring it up to you on the next trip rather than uh, ship all the stuff because the shipping gets sort of expensive for stuff like that. I did uh, buy some big boxes that I don't think I'll be using now. So if you do want to ship it, I do have some big boxes uh, I went and bought and uh, we're not gonna ship, it up, ship the stuff that I boxed up, but uh, so if you want that stuff, I uh, still have it all here in the pile for you, but it's a whole wheel, a couple sprockets, a gas tank, uh, the motor, the exhaust, the carburetor, the ignition system, and uh, you know, it's, it would probably be close to 100 pounds worth of stuff, so it'd take a couple boxes. Uh, if you want, though, I could throw it in the Hyundai and run it over there, and I think your dad lives in Palm Coast or somewhere close. Uh, so if we could do something like that, let me know. And uh, yeah, that'd make it a lot cheaper to get it to you, I think. So uh, let me know what you want to do with that. And uh, we'll go ahead and do something. If you want me to ship it, I will. But if uh, we can just drive it over to your dad's, that'd be a lot easier probably. So uh, with that being said, I'm uh, going to get back on Andrew's truck. I've been uh, buffing. And it started to rain out here. Started raining again, so uh, I don't know if you can see much of white truck, you know, you can't really tell. I got this side all buffed, and uh, I started working on this front wheel down there. I had to end up sanding the wheels because they're so bad, and uh, I'm having to buff them with the mini buffer. So they look a little better. That's that one, and here's one I haven't done. So they, uh, they're pretty dingy. She doesn't clean her stuff. So once I get the outside all buffed, then we'll uh, go to the inside, do the jams, all that good stuff, clean it up and uh, make it all pretty. So I haven't uh, ever washed this truck since we had it. I, don't, I mean, I might've washed it, but never buffed it or anything. So that's what I'm doing today. Cleaning Andrea's car. She wants to drive this to her uh, 80s reunion tonight. So uh, I gotta get it in gear. I got this side left over here. So. All right, so did a shout out for Musty One on that stuff. You know, let me know if I can uh, take that to your dad's. And then uh, Big Paul, let me ask the Big Paul. I had a question about some studs and I'm sorry I didn't answer you sooner, buddy. Uh, I talked to Hanson the other day and he reminded me that I needed to answer you on the stud question you had. <clears throat> you got the half inch studs there, <clears throat> that 12 bolt. I don't know if you're gonna find a unilug for a half inch. You might, uh, I don't know if there's enough uh, area around the outside of the nut for the unilug part to work. Uh, you'd have to check with Crager on that or uh, somebody that still sells a unilug wheel. Uh, I really don't know the answer on that. And I have uh, that distributors out there in the shed. It's a Unilite Mallory. Uh, I don't have a cap for it, it's just a distributor, so if you want that, I'll send it to you. Just PM me your address or whatever, and uh, 
I'll put it in a flat bit, uh, flat mailbox or something. So it'll cost you like 12 bucks, six bucks, whatever it costs to ship. And uh, you can have it. I don't want it. Uh, it's just an old small block part I thought you might want. And uh, sorry I didn't email you back sooner. And uh, hopefully that answers your question on the stud thing. I know for drag racing, the stud has to come outside of the protrude out of the cap of the nut, you know? That's why they make those studs longer like that. But uh, I've got uh, the studs that were on my Nova or 7 16ths, you know? And a well wheel's not a unilug, but I was just thinking uh, uh, this area around the lug nut, I don't know if I'm getting that in the camera, might be a little uh, on the thin side if it was half inch. And I think those lugs are sort of, uh, I don't know if it will affect the, the washer. You know, the washers are offset that fit in the uh, unilug wheel. It's actually the, the washer that makes it a unilug wheel, not the lug nut. So as long as the uh, the half inch nut will fit through the unilug, I think you'll be okay. You know, now the, you know, you have to use a 7 16th nut to get through that unilug thing. Uh, and that would be your only uh, hold up there. And then I don't think I'd want to, uh, drill the unilug part, you know, and make it uh, big enough for the half inch stud to go through. Now the uh, the shank might be the same circumference, half inch R7 16 it might just be a thinner wall nut. So uh, without having all that stuff on hand, you know, there's no way to give you a, a, a real good answer, you know. So that's a few things you can check though. So, all right, let me shut this off for my neighbors think I'm crazy, you know, walking around with the camera thing. And uh, uh, here's one of those uh, Volkswagen motor, so easy that anybody can do it type thing. There you go, that's what happens when you miss the dowel pin. And uh, start the motor up and it tries to twist the bearing out of the motor. That's a pretty new bearing there. So that's pretty cool. Keep that for uh, sizing souvenir. There's our bus case all cleaned up. We need to uh, get it the rest of the way reconditioned and uh, we'll reassemble that bad boy too. So, all right guys, let me get back on the, the monster truck. Oh, we got a break in the weather and uh, talk to you guys later.